Yeah, so what I'm using now inside here, this is uh, something I bought. Uh, this is actually a very thin down bag that I just use like a duvet cover, kind of, uh, like a duvet. So it's like a kilt. I uh, attach some strap to attach it to another sleeping bag. So this is completely open. Uh, it's not mummy form. It's just really like a blanket with a foot bag, like a kilt. Um, and then still in here is a quite quite uh, warm, kind of like three season kind of sleeping bag. Uh, also a kilt that I made myself. Uh, it's it's a Ray Jardin, um, like an ultralight hiker. Um, it's a kit that he um, sells on his webpage, and uh, yeah, very nice. It's a, I think one of my first bigger gear sewing projects. I know that well, yeah, rain ponchos before and tops, but like, yeah, very uh, good instructions also with this with this kit. Um, yeah, so these two, the green one, the kill the three season thing, and this they attach. This is down, made by Yeti. Uh, which I bought when I was working in a hiking store. This is really thin, um, not much down left. I guess I, I could uh, probably get some uh, more down into here at some point. But this combination, like these three, like they get me toasty to minus 35 easily. So it's like, it's a really good combination and uh, you know not that expensive. Um, some small detail, like I would like to show on this, uh, on this. These army sleeping bags that have the zipper on the front, um, like when you look at hiking sleeping bags, right? They have this kind of often this color that goes around the neck, and that stops air moving out from the body to this hole. So with these army sleeping bags, you don't have this feature, and um, when you when you have the head inside the sleeping bag. You have a lot of air moving out of this hole and an additional problem that comes is that when you have the head in the sleeping bag the moisture from breathing also goes into the sleeping bag and as i said before it's like more important to stay dry than to stay warm so I'd rather be a bit on the cold side um, and i figured out what i can do about this uh, to keep my sleeping bag dry from this moisture and also to keep air moving out of this hole that is then just you know in front of the face basically here uh, what I came up with is like, you know, like I actually think that these are meant to be used that way. When I figured that out, I thought like, yeah, that makes so much sense. They are designed to be like this. And that is to actually have this one around the neck. So the head is outside, right? So the head outside of the sleeping bag and this thing is closing around the neck. So I then just use like, you know, a really nice and warm hat. Um, like when it's really cold, I use something like this. Um, but in the moment, like I just use um, um, balaclava uh, and this one uh, is really fine. And the scarf around, so this kind of buff thing. And um, yeah, so my head is warm and I have my hands as a pillow right under here. So it's really nice. Um, and I hear a lot more and I see a lot more so I can look around without having to open the zipper of the sleeping bag. Um, if you're using these kind of sleeping bags, give this a try. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if you don't go back to, um, to, to having the head inside the sleeping bag. Yeah, so it's a really good way to, um, to, deal, uh, to deal with, with moisture and uh, losing heat escaping through this hole. Okay, so that's basically the sleeping place set up um, I will come back here later um, so usually this is my sleeping this is my shelter place right so I have this all set up and then I use a twig stove resulcate uh, in Finnish um, like I have different ones uh, a really good one is, is, a, is a modification added to IKEA stove I think I will show all this uh, twig stove in another video but that's like very convenient to um, save fuel and, and have just quick hot water because that's like you should only need hot water that's that's what you need the stove for you shouldn't need the fire to to warm you or dry your stuff because if you cannot make fire then you are a bit in a bad situation yeah. so more later I guess maybe I'll uh, don't know what I do just hang around a bit